How's it going? Glenn here, the founder of the detailed SEO extension for Chrome and Firefox. So I just want to give you a quick tutorial about the features involved and what we have on offer. So first of all, after you've installed it, if you haven't done that yet, you will see this little jigsaw icon that's always there on Chrome. Um, it's a little bit different for Firefox, but for Google Chrome, you will want to pin the extension. So you can click on the little pin icon and what that means is that it will always be here easy for you to access. So if we just look at this specific page, the extension landing page, which I've been working on recently, one click instant. You see how quick that was? We literally have the tile tag, the meta description, the URL, does the canonical tag actually match? And then we can see the characters involved in those as well. And these actually change color based on, if I had a tile tag that was maybe 300 characters, way longer than can actually show in a Google search result, this would have changed to red. If I was just slightly over, it would have been orange and these do change. So if canonical tag doesn't match a URL, that changes color as well. So how many words are on the page, the heading tags, quick links to sitemap and robots file, or robots.txt, all of the headings on the page, rookie mistake by me there, I've got multiple H1s. As I said, I'm still working on this at the moment. All of the links and URLs on a page and you can download those if you like, images on a page that you can download, schema markup, I'll show you that more in a second. We have a social tag for the open graph for a website and we have this advanced tab. This advanced tab is really cool. You can change your user agent. So if you want to view a website as Googlebot, uh, you can do that here. If you want to enable extracting people also asked from search results, you can do that here as well. That was a big feature request, something that we've enabled this year. So if you enable this, it's going to ask you for more permissions, but we have no tracking whatsoever. It's going to ask you for more permissions. When you go to Google search results and search for something, and I'll do a demo of that, when you go to Google search results and search for something, it will ask you if you want to download the info inside. People also ask. So you can enable this and disable this whenever you like. So just as a more detailed example, we're on the detailed homepage here. Click it again. Now you notice this one's going to take a little bit longer. That was like, you know, maybe one or two seconds. The reason that happens is because a lot of extensions, and this was the case when we created uh, the detailed SEO extension, this was pretty much the main purpose that we created it in the first place. Most extensions only look for a robots tag in the source code of a page. They were not looking, and I don't believe any extension was doing that when we launched this, they were not looking for an X robots tag. And that is a way that you can assign a no index tag that isn't necessarily visible in the source code of a page so a lot of people, there were a lot of cases where I was thinking a page is indexable, but actually it had an X robots tag saying don't index this page. And I couldn't see that. So what the reason this takes slightly longer is because we go and check that for you on the URL to make sure. So that's very important. So you'll see schema has been filled out a little bit more here. Um, Hreflang and we can export that as well. So I don't have any localized versions of this website, but a good example, if we go to TripAdvisor, we can open this up and then we'll click on schema reflang and we can see all of the localized versions. So I'm on the best restaurants in Paris page. They have a version of this for people in France or people who speak Spanish and around the world and so on. Now you only have to enable permissions once. So when you enable permissions for this, it also enables no follow link highlighting. This is just a thing of Google Chrome. There's no way for us to get around this. Google want us to be respectful. So if we don't need the info to start with, we won't ask you for it. But unfortunately, there's no other way to give you this info. So when you enable this, it also you can enable people also ask and so on. You only have to do this one time. And what it will do, it will tell you, does this page reference back to this one? Does this page reference back to this one? We will literally go and check all of those URLs for you so you don't have to do it. And we will tell you the status code of those pages as well. That's just a brand new feature. I'm sharing this for the first time where you can actually see if these pages actually load and if they are, and you can click on these as well to make your life easier. So another cool little feature is our right click menu. So anywhere on the web, you cl right click on something, you will see our little extension pop up here and you can take the current page you're on or the current website and open it in your favorite tools. So Ahrefs, BuzzSumo, Moz, SEMrush. So for example, if we click on view current site in similar web, instantly you don't have to type anything you don't have to do anything awkward you know manual typing it loads that page for you right here you can get all the info at once just from the right click menu so i've just enabled people also ask extraction 
And what that does, when you search for something where people also ask would actually show up in search results, you have this little box appears. And again, you can enable this and dis disable this anytime you want. This only shows when people ask, people also ask shows in search results and you can select the level. So do you just want this first level answers or do you want us to go click the second level, third level, fourth level and the fifth level and this will extract a lot of data. So what it does, it instantly downloads a CSS file for you, CSV file for you and then you can go and open that in Google Sheets. And then just one more cool little trick that we have is if you want to check for duplicate content, I don't know if this is the best page example, Let's just take some text here. Let's just say this was a description or a product description or something like that. You can highlight some text, right click, and then you can click check for duplicates. And what that's going to do is that's going to go to Google and create a search and put that phrase in quotes and take that specific site for you. So if you're checking for duplicate content across the website, this saves you a lot of time as well. So I'm going to stop there. I hope you found this useful. It's 100% free, no tracking. And I'm really proud of this. It's something we update a lot. I'm very proud. This says 150,000 users. I think we're on around 165,000 weekly users, which is crazy. I promise I never thought that was going to happen. And I'm just really always updating this, always adding new features, always trying to make it better and more useful for people who do SEO. Thank you for watching.